Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha, as always, and I welcome you to my channel. I'm so grateful that you guys are listening, watching, subscribing, wherever you're listening to me from, my podcast or my YouTube channel or Facebook, wherever it is. I really, really am grateful for everything. And in this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about how INFJs hate it and absolutely despise it when people are always asking them why they're so quiet. I think this might be an introversion thing in general, but for us as INFJs, I've done a video on this previously as well, we don't like speaking unless it's absolutely required. My thing in life mainly is to stay as quiet as possible, to observe the world as much as possible, to integrate all those learnings within myself, to learn more about the world, about the people in it, and then that, that way I can become more of, more of the person that I want to become. More intelligent perhaps, more, more observant, more spiritual, just better in general. I, I feel like the more I observe the world, the more I learn about the world, the more I learn about the people in the world, the better I become as an individual um, because I learn more about myself in the process. I hope that makes sense. So that's my ardent desire to be in this world. You know, I just want to walk around this world. I want to walk around the entirety of this world, observing the trees, observing the rivers, observing the people, observing the malls, observing the, the shopping, observing everything. I just want to assimilate all of it within myself and to just, just integrate all of it within myself, learn about all the stuff that's going on in the world. And from that, learn more about my place in the world, learn more about where I fit into this world. And because of this, I spend a lot of my time being quiet. You can't observe things and be talking at the same time. It's very hard to do that, actually. I think most INFJs are sitting around and being quiet and observing the world because it's so much easier to observe the world when you're being still, when you're being silent, when you're being patient, when you're being quiet. Right? You sit, you look back, you look around you, and you observe, and you learn. That's what I want to do with the world. That's why I love people watching. That's why I love walking around so much. That's why I love sitting in silence and observing the world that way. That's why I love self-reflection so much. I just sit and observe. The problem with this is that most people think, first of all, that INFJs are stupid or dumb or are not smart because they're so quiet all the time, because they're not always pushing their opinions and their ideas upon everyone else. Even in a group of people, people will always be asking me, so what do you think about this? You haven't said anything yet. And I think to myself, if I had something useful to say on the subject, or if I had something that I wanted to say, I would have said it. I didn't say it. That means I want to be quiet. That means I don't want to share my opinion on this subject matter. Why are you forcing me to do it, right? That really irks the hell out of me because it happens to me all the time. I'll be sitting in a group of people, happily, merrily, about my way, you know, listening, observing, learning about people because I'll be observing them and I'll see how they speak and I'll be like, oh, so that's the kind of person you are. That makes sense. Maybe that's a terrible thing to do. I'm not judging them. I'm just kind of observing them. Hopefully that, that delineation helps. But then they'll be like, you know, you haven't said anything in a while. And I think to myself, yeah, because I have nothing to say or I don't want to contribute to this conversation. I'm not stupid. I know when I can speak up. And so why are you bothering me? Why are you forcing me to speak when I don't want to speak? And so that really, really is one of my, my major annoyances in the plan on the planet. I just hate it. I'm not dumb for not speaking up. I'm not stupid for not speaking up. I just don't think it's necessary to speak up every single time. Sometimes you speak up because it's necessary. Someone's being bullied or some opinion that someone is portraying is absolutely false. And so you need to speak up in order to correct that situation. But if you don't need to, then why would you? Unless you're with someone one-on-one -on -one and we're having a conversation and I'm really, really getting intensely into it as these videos do, you know, like when I get into these videos, I'm just like, oh, and so I speak a lot, but normally I just stay quiet all the time. The problem, as I said, is people don't like it. People think you're stupid, but also people are always bugged by it because they think that it's an affront to them. They think that you're quiet or I'm quiet as an INFJ as an individual because I don't like them because I don't like being around them, because I don't like speaking to them, because I don't like something about them. They take it as a personal affront, as a, as a personal um, investigation upon themselves or something against them. And I think to myself, but why? Why are you taking it as a affront? Why are you taking it as an insult to you when all I'm doing is just being with myself and my thoughts? Why is it all about someone else? Why is it about all about you? My dad does this a lot, actually. He is obviously an extrovert. My parents are both extroverts. And interestingly enough, all of their kids are all introverts. <laughs> the ironies of this world. I just love this world sometimes. And so 
for them, they're all the surprise because all of their kids are major introverts. All we all want to do is spend time in our room, reading our books, watching our animes or TV, whatever we're watching, and uh, just being quiet. You know, that's we just love it. And so, all they want to do is play music really loudly or play the TV really loudly, talk a lot, chat, you know, just be with people, invite a lot of people over for parties, things like that. And I love them for that because they're extroverts and they're living their extroverted life. But I hate it when they force me to join their extroverted world and get upset when I don't or humiliated or, or insulted because they feel that I'm against them somehow or I don't like them. And this is not just with my parents. All the extroverted people in general that I have met in my life, when I don't want to hang out with them and I'm like, I have to get up early or when I make excuses like, well, not really excuses, when I say things like, I'm sorry, but I want to go home and, and spend some time recharging because I'm really tired. Or, or things like, I, have, I want to go home because I have to finish an episode of my favorite anime. Uh, I have said that in the past. Oof. And so things like that. When I say things like that, people are like, you... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> They're like, you would rather do that than spend time with us? And again, they take it as an insult towards them. They take it as an insult perhaps to our friendship or our acquaintanceship. And I always feel really annoyed by it because I think to myself, first of all, stop bugging me about being quiet. If I have something to say, I will say it. And I've said this to people as well, out loud. And so they understand that I'm not quiet because I hate them. I'm not quiet because I'm, I have, you know, I don't like what they're talking about. I just have nothing to contribute to the conversation. And I don't like speaking just for the sake of speaking. I don't like saying words just because I want people to think that I'm smart or think that I'm an extrovert or whatever it might be. I, I just don't want to speak just because I have to speak. I want to speak because it's necessary. I want to speak because it, it contributes something. I want to speak because it's going to make a person realize something about themselves and change their life. You know, that's my, my ultimate goal with speaking. If I don't do any of those things, I don't want to, I don't, I'd, rather, I'd rather be quiet, right? I just, that's one of the reasons whenever I meet a new person, I always tell them a couple of things about myself. I always tell them, first of all, that um, I have no filter, so I will say things that perhaps sometimes will insult them. So please, please, I apologize in, in, in advance. I, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know. I, I don't mean it. I just have no filter. I always say that to everyone that I meet. And I also, say, also always tell them that I'm an introvert. So I spend all of my time, almost all of my time by myself. And so if I don't spend time with them, don't take it as an insult to them. I always say this to every single person I meet. Because this has happened to me so many times that people have taken it as an insult and have feel, felt upset because I didn't want to hang out with them. And I thought to myself, but it has nothing to do with you. I don't want to hang out with anyone. Not just you, not just this person, not just that person, anyone on this planet. I just want to be by myself. And so it's not against you. I'm not saying that you are a bad person. I'm not saying that you're um, uninteresting or anything like that. I'm just saying that I just want to be on my own, right? So... Perhaps I'm doing this video more, not for INFJs, but for non-INFJs. Please, please stop asking your INFJ why they're so quiet. Please stop telling them to be less quiet. Please stop telling them to speak up more. Please stop doing that to them because it really is, is an insult to them because they're being themselves around you. They're just being their true self. You know, I whenever I'm around people that are extrovert, I'm just being my true self. I'll sit around, I'll watch my anime, I'll sit around being quiet, I'll sit around staring off into space. <laughs> My sister always gets weirded up when I do that because she's an INTJ, but she never stares off into space. Um, and so, you know, just just let us be ourselves around you. You know, let us if we're quiet, let us be quiet because once we are intensely passionate about something and around you, and we start a conversation about something that we care about, we will get intense and we will start speaking and we will get really verbose uh, in our conversations. So don't don't force it to happen. It will happen eventually. It'll happen automatically and organically don't force us to do that because the minute you start forcing us to do that we're gonna really start resenting you for it not hating you necessarily but resenting you because you're making us be something that we don't really want to be and that's one of the things that we really really don't want to do as an INFJ our main thing as an INFJ always is to be as authentic to ourselves as possible as authentic as possible in this crazy world that's always trying to pull us in the wrong direction all right I hope this makes sense to you guys I hope that I was able to explain myself to you guys as, as I did. Sometimes I wonder, as you guys know, if I am you know making sense. So I hope I did. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know. If you guys have any future video suggestions or topic suggestions, let me know as well. All of my contact information is in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.